You're listening to the podcast on jasonsolomons.com and I'm joined by Parker Sawyer's Aka Barack Obama in the new film Southside with you. Congratulations on your performance, Parker, and welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Uh, you're awesome as Barack Obama. Is it because Barack Obama is awesome, even when he was 28 and you're doing the, the, the first date that he had with Michelle on that hot summer afternoon in Southside of Chicago? Yeah, man. I mean, part of it is that. I mean, he is... Uh, I think he's one for the ages as far as a statesman, as far as a leader. Uh, I mean, his oratorical skill is is just out of this world. So I think part of it is that, just playing a young version of somebody we know became this huge person, um, personality. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that helps. But, um, but it was also, you know, he takes pride in, in his intelligence. He knew himself really well. And he was comfortable in his own skin. So anybody like that. This is why we like certain rock stars or certain, uh, you know, sometimes if somebody's like really nerdy or something, but they own it. Bill Gates. It's like Bill Gates is cool because he's just like, yeah, I'm just, you know, hey. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so They're comfortable in their body and their skin. Yeah. And I think that's what really comes across. It's kind of what we're seeing is is Barack in this day in this very smart script that you're performing. Is him actually kind of finding himself on this day? Maybe, yeah. maybe it's because he's kind of got the lady of his dreams there with Michelle and that you feel it all coming together over yeah. this day and she definitely I mean Michelle Robinson uh, now Michelle Obama she definitely challenges him and he I think he enters the date and his just world view is that no it's okay it'll work out it'll work out it'll work out we can go on this date and people can see us on this date and uh, I know that you work in this office and there's the corporate uh, politics and you're a woman and a black woman in 1989 working in office, but you're smart, so it'll work out. And she says, Brock, no, this is really, really inappropriate. I'm a very determined person. This means a lot to me. And then throughout the date, you see that uh, that he kind of shifts and he goes, okay, I get it. I was wrong. Mm. So it really, I mean, as somebody who probably th thought he knew everything in a way, he realized he didn't. And she beats, it beats him down. So you, you kind of think, well, as the career has gone on and as they're terms in the white house that two year two two term presidency yeah. in the white house you're going uh, michelle's been michelle's been powering this all along barack can, can kind of get away with some stuff but yeah. she's gonna smack him down and it's funny i mean the way it works right i mean she uh michelle obama um i think she skipped second grade she graduated from harvard must have been 23 years old which is i mean if you know the american system that's like that's impressive because usually you're graduating college uni just mm -hmm. at 22 so to go to harvard law and and be so accomplished people forget that she really is su i mean super intelligent mm. and that's really i mean it's just cool to think about these two <laughs> super intelligent people there's a wonderful speech where she kind of goes well think of all the work i had to do because i'm a woman and they don't trust me and i think take and then take that right back to zero because i'm a black woman it's yeah. a it's a really impassioned very smart speech about making it in corporate america or white america yeah and i mean th those are things that i guess um I didn't realize growing up, but there that certainly happens in America. And I say that I didn't realize it in the sense that um, I did quite well in like freshman biology in high school. So the next year they put me just automatically in uh, zoology X, like accelerated zoology. And I go in the first day of high school, uh, sophomore year in high school, and I'm the only black guy in the class, black person in the class. And my teacher is like looking in my direction. She goes, oh, um, this is zoology X. Uh, zoology is down the hall. Perhaps some of you are in the wrong room. And I ended up, you know, getting one of the highest grades in the class. Sure. I think the highest grade. Um, but it didn't strike me until later on in my life. I was like, oh, she was looking at me because I was, oh, oh my God. And I didn't realize it. Mm. So hearing Michelle say that in the film, I'm like, yeah, all right. Like a lot of us had been through that. Mm. Uh, yeah. Landing the part of Barack Obama, your first lead, it's a great part. Did it mean something as a black man to be playing Barack Obama what did it mean symbolic to you I guess what I guess what has he meant to you and then to be actually playing him what did that mean to you personally as an actor part? right yeah man I mean playing playing Barack Obama it was an honor it was something that that obviously meant a lot to me but as far as insofar as uh, an intelligent black person out there just being himself that is something that uh, I was uh, I was waiting for that. I didn't have to play a gangster. I didn't have to play a, a soldier, tough guy. Just a guy who uses his brain to navigate the world. And I'm really cool. I mean, my daughter, who was born here, she's nearly eight. 
she didn't understand. It came out. It was uh, in the news, and everybody around the neighborhood was like, "Oh, congratulations!" And she's like, "Daddy, I, why is it such a big deal?" And I ex- had to explain why the first black president was such a big deal and why playing him was a big deal because she was born into a world with a black president. Mm-hmm. And I go, "Oh, right." To you, it's no. She just thinks he's a guy. See, that's fascinating. So. What is it? Your daughter's black. Uh, yeah, she's mixed race. Well, my wife's race. Lithuanian. Right. So yeah. So, so yeah. So you said your daughter's mixed race, like Barack. Yeah. Himself. Exactly. What does it? What does it mean to that generation? You know, for us, it's historic. But for a younger generation, it, it, there's a black president. It just means that there's they, there can be a black president, yeah. and this is inspirational. Super inspirational. And I mean, and you know, there's a lot to do with optics and just I don't know if you know it in um, elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, colleges. In every like history class, you have the pictures of the presidents yeah. all around the room, right, lined up. And if you don't see yourself up there, you just are probably a little less likely to think you can get to that level. So just him, just he and Michelle being elected and being in the White House, it means so much. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, we'll have a woman the next time, and that'll inspire another generation and yeah. just let people know that the American dream for if you're capable is very real and you can do it there'll be something weird when they're looking at that timeline that historical timeline suddenly they, we get to like 2000 then there's a black and yeah. then there's the, the, a woman and people yeah. say what the hell what, happened? What happened yeah but we're kind of lagging behind I mean we're, uh, you guys had we have a female prime minister now yeah. you know and so I think America's lagging behind and we haven't had a black one I can tell you that that's true yeah. well I don't know if I can run, but no. <laughs> you, 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 I, unfortunately you can't. Probably I'm not. afraid you were born, but maybe I don't know. Maybe you can. Uh, please do. You know, God knows it's you know, it's kind of there for the taking. Yeah. But honest. you know what? I mean, it really does. It's. Uh, I mean, inclusion is always good, right? And it's great to hear from women, especially with like the college, um, the like sexual predator or whatever is going on. Mm-hmm. It's good to hear from women. You're like, oh my god, I didn't know what's going on. Yeah. And then with uh, people of uh, mixed race or black background or, or Indian or whatever background, the diversity. It's always good to hear, oh, wow, I didn't know that was going on. I had no clue. Thank you for telling me. Mm. And so for me, it's like it's, a, it's an obvious thing mm. to have diversity. It's, um, it's fascinating to watch the, the, the movie Southside with you, with you and Michelle wandering around Southside Chicago. We know they went to this date yeah. to go and see Do the Right Thing uh, at the cinema. That, that's been kind of known. And you know, where you think, wow, they saw that and they, political ires and angers and th- themes were formed there that now reverberate throughout the world. It, it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great movie and it, obviously it had a great effect on me as a film critic and as a, yeah. as a person, but it obviously worked for Michelle and Barack as well because there they are yeah. in the White House changing the world. But how much of what happens in the movie, the walk, they, the, where they go, is true? You know, how much was research? Did you have Barack and Michelle talked about that day? Right. Did it even happen in the day? Was it just one day date and then they were Michelle and Barack? Yeah. <laughs> well, Richard Tanney, uh, the writer-director, he did uh, extensive research. And I've even seen the Michelle Obama uh, interview where she talks about, she said the first date was hours and we just walked and talked and Barack and talk a lot so there's talk and talk and talk uh, they did go to an art museum they did have lunch outside the art museum they did see do the right thing he did have the car that you see in the film but that clapped out yellow Datsun Datsun man yeah and they and he had a hole in the floor apparently right. um, <laughs> and, and they then, put Janet Jackson on the radio well, I don't know about that yeah. but Probably. she was number one in that exactly. week in the charts most right? likely right miss and, you much what a tune and then um, yeah and then there's a community meeting scene in our in the film but that was like early that occurred early on in their courtship so that wasn't necessarily uh what happened on the first date but then i yeah i think michelle says I, and they had the ice cream ice cream cone um and so i, I and he believe, worked he worked at baskin robbins as a teenager as well yeah. i used to work at ben and jerry's it's right. really strange like i was like i used to do this, this is how he got the part yeah you could scoop <laughs> yeah exactly it's part of the audition process <laughs> and then uh yeah but then uh apparently in real life michelle said it was with that ice cream cone that was she was sold sealed the deal that's right because he got he went he stopped the car and he got a chocolate ice cream <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it's very cute it's a very romantic yeah. uh, movie playing Barack Obama you play him as a young man so before we know anyone knew him mm-hmm. really but you how did you approach the part because you, you 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 roll the sleeves up in a kind of key Barack kind of way yeah you get the kind of shoulders right the chin right yeah but you don't really do an impression of him. We right. hear, especially when he does the oratory in the church with the community, you kind of get the cadences of yeah. Barack's famous speech. Did you build that? Did you play with it? Was there a time when you were just doing a lot more Barack? 
Yeah, I mean, my very first audition tape was a straight-on impersonation, like a 50-year-old Barack Obama, which does not play well in a romantic, <laughs> a romantic drama. Uh, now, Michelle, uh, I'd like to take you for um, ice cream, and uh, perhaps we can go to the art museum, and then a little later on, we'll go to the uh, community meeting. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that was not what they wanted. And so, <laughs> so I, I took that back. But I also built him from, when I got the part, I decided to build him from six years old to 28. And that way, I, and I literally thought of everything he did. So the experiences of, like, what would make this person comfortable in their own skin? And that's packing the bags when your mother says, I'm getting married, moving to Indonesia. And, you know, he's whatever age, he's got to pack his bags. I can imagine he's crying, getting on the plane, and, like, moving there. And I just, like, did thought experiments just to say, who, like, what made this person this person? Um, but, yeah, and then he let it all go. And then the community meeting, uh, we wanted that to be the early glimpses of Barack Obama. And if you think about it, anybody, um, when you're at home talking to your loved one or your mother or something, you talk one way. And then when you're in front of people giving a speech, of course, you're going to speak a certain way. So that's that's what we thought. We said, you know what? This is when you see the early the the pre early President Obama type thing. Um, and then when he's back with Michelle, he's back to being like, cool and, you know, <laughs> very proud of himself. Yeah. It must have been – it seems like it was – it's hard work to do a movie like this. A lot of dialogue, kind of. I guess you, it's small budget and yeah. long takes as well, because yeah. you're the choreography of it. You're walking around, but all the time you're the one guy you're being. When you're acting, you're always someone else. But you're being Barack Obama, yeah. the nascent Barack Obama. Yeah. It must have been kind of fun, trembling in in that vest, thinking, you know, I got to get this right. It was fun, and it was a challenge. I mean, again, as a fan, as an admirer, as uh, a supporter of Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, um, I did just want to get it right, and so you just go into <laughs> do it mode, so to speak. You know what I mean? Um, but it was fun, and we were in Chicago, and when people figured, found out, figured out what movie we were making, the support, the love, the warmth, and everything. Okay, go Barack, you can do it. Okay, okay, I see you. Oh, like, well, thank you. All right. Uh, so that was that was really fun. It was like it was just such a warm uh, shooting shooting schedule it was it was great wonderful for that neighborhood to which had it first without knowing it that it was kind of home to this kind of relationship that would go on to to change the world yeah. in a way to recreate that relationship yeah. around that same area yeah. uh you know it, it's kind of a, a, a lucky thing for that the psychogeography of that place to kind of re to realize what it gave yeah. birth to exactly and I, I hope that's what well especially with the film and you see them in their humble beginnings i think it highlights just how how remarkable a journey they've both been on that they both I mean coming from the south side of Chicago and working and Michelle Robinson especially working her way out Barack coming in community organizing going from there to the White House it's just like man that's that is mind-boggling and I hope it's yeah I hope it's inspiring yeah well I said it was inspiring seeing it and funny too and because yeah, and, and, yeah. you kind of go oh my god that's funny. but you, know, you just have to crowbar a lot of information in yeah. which you because sometimes in a script it can feel you know, can feel like, oh, right, here you go. There's, there's the lesson in there, but it, yeah. it never feels like that yeah. in there. It's really fluid and languorous and beautiful yeah. film to watch and climaxing with the great do the right thing clip, which yeah. you kind of forget is more and more relevant every day and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. I and mean, that's one of the things, man. I really hope in 50 years it's not, I hope in 50 years it's not relevant. I hope somebody see, I hope my grandkids see that part or see the movie, do mm -hmm. the right thing and think, wow, is this sci fi? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is this yeah. made up? I hope it's. I hope it's that foreign. Sort of like my daughter seeing the first, you know, black president. She's mm. like, yeah, black president. Um, but no, it, it was rich again, man. I got to give credit to Antica. She produced it. She was on from from when it was just a one page synopsis. You're, you're coached by Tika Sumter. Tika yeah. Sumter, yeah, man. And she's man, cool. Yeah, she's really cool. She, but they, we all just worked really, really hard. We gelled. I think we could also we could always work together again. It worked really well. Before I let you go. I'm thinking it was great to see Michelle and Barack out on their first date. I'm not really looking forward to seeing Ronald and Nancy no. going to the soda <laughs> fountain or wherever they were, but George no. and Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't do it with anyone else, could you? I don't think you could. I mean, even even uh, the Clintons, who have been in the public eye for the past 25 years or more uh, when he was governor, um, they're not that warm 
to no. each other in real life, and it doesn't. She you know, was, and they they didn't look great, did they? Both no. of them in their student years. Exactly. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, they look kind of, you know. It was, she I don't was know. kind of like the big glasses. Yeah. The look. It was. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, and he had, didn't he have like not an afro, but like he had a lot of, of hair and like yeah, yeah woolly, yeah, Bible. woolly, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, they didn't have that. They don't have the warmth and a natural sort of cadence that they walk together. Um, and but so I don't know if it would work, but maybe somebody will try. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a big hit. <laughs> Southside with you, it's like yes, yeah, exactly. Uh, I really enjoyed it, Parker Swayze. Thank you so thanks, much for coming on the show. Thanks, man.